Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Team of the Year Week, guys. We are getting so close. By the end of this week in FC24, we will have Team of the Year cards and packs, and the official promo will have started. But it all starts with today, the end of the voting today, and where we maybe start to get the first bits of news and information, as it's the last day that FC versus Team 2 cards are in packs. Maybe a loading screen on a Monday? I'll talk about it in today's video. Of course, lots of other things going on and things on the market are moving up and down. We're going to talk about it all today in the video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content where it was kind of like expected. We finally had that SBC that we had leaked almost ages ago, it seemed. We finally have the flashback Danny Welbeck. It is decently priced at 80,000 coins for a card that when I first saw this, I wasn't that impressed because I thought thought of a card that I already had in my club, and that is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Guys, if you can compare those cards side by side, which we did on stream yesterday, they are almost identical. Aubameyang's been out in this game for about a month and two weeks, but I know that Aubameyang is now well back. So if this card is, hits different for you, if this is a card that you want to get done, it's not a bad card for that nostalgic feel. High, high work rates, four star, four star, rapid plus, quick step as well. Technical dribbler, chip shot and power shot. Really good finishing stats, 91, 95 attack positioning, great composure, great ball control, like not a bad striker by any means. And of course, Premier League and English and has some hype there. 83 and an 85 squad with an inform, uh, get a couple of packs back. It's pretty cheap. As you can tell, uh, people are liking this SBC. It is upvoted on Footbin. And also, if you take a look at the card itself, it has got more up thumbs up to thumbs down. And I think that's more because of the player name than really like the price of the SBC or it being super meta or anything like that. It's just a very craftable Premier League striker in the Premier League. And that's hurt some of those little lower to middle tier uh, strikers in the game as well in terms of price. But I guess only 55% upvoted. That one's not as crazy upvoted as I thought it was. But again, like we're going to talk about and we're saying a lot right now in this game. You got to be careful with those coins because we have a lot of SBCs upcoming that you might say are more important than that one. That's why maybe you put some of these SBCs on the back burner and look forward to doing SBCs this week that you could save packs for team of the year ahead of those. So it just depends on what you want to do. But we also yesterday had this SBC. Guys, I was not expecting for EA to put UEFA, UCL, and Women's UCL Heroes in the player pick. It's base, triple threat, or UEFA hero players. And since the UEFA players are in it, that got everybody excited. First player pick of the year with those heroes able to be packed. And it's cheap, right? And I say cheap in quotes because it's still an 86 rated squad, which, I mean, with how much 86s went up yesterday, I think people were some at some points paying almost 90,000 coins for this SBC because 86 were going extinct. Some of them were like 11, 12,000 coins max price yesterday because this SBC had so much demand. On stream yesterday, we were joking that this SBC, seriously, and also joking at the same time, it's a trap, right? Because it's 70,000 coins, 80,000 coins worth of value of cards that you could be putting into another SBC in the coming week with all of the team of the year packs to save up and all that sort of thing. It's just, this is the time of year where you have to be very careful with those coins. Now, if you have a lot of coins and you want to send it, then freaking send it. But if you're low on fodder, if you're on a lower budget, this is the SBC that if you think about it, if you're saving packs for team of the year, like you could very easily do this SBC next week. It's going to be out for six days. This is the type of SBC that EA will keep out and around. Remember during Black Friday, they had the icon packs, or I think it was the icon pack that came out before Black Friday, and then it kind of refreshed and then it came back during Black Friday. We will have more chances to do this player pick 100%. We're going to see this player pick again released during team of the year. I would almost guarantee it. So if you didn't want to do it yesterday and get it done right away because you're waiting, which I think is the smart move, um, even though it's not that expensive, right? It takes an 86 rated squad out of your ultimate team club. I think waiting is the play on that one. But since it's not that expensive, which is exactly what EA wanted, it's getting a lot of people to do the SBC, right? Because you can pack those heroes. And guys, I mean, I remember looking on stream yesterday at N'Golo Conte, and he was literally 12,000 coins max price. Like there was a couple at 11,500 that were getting listed up, and he was almost max price. Now, I think Conte is just one of the more expensive 86 rated cards anyway, but all 86s on the market right now are back down to 9,000 coins because, yes, EA is running the 84 times 10 lightning rounds. They refreshed a lot of the store packs the tradable ones especially. So your 86s, almost all of them went from like 8,000 coins yesterday. 
and then went all the way up to like at least 10 to 11,000 coins. Let me show you the spike right here, right? From 8.2 all the way to about 10,000, and now they're back down a little bit. You could maybe hop on a couple of bids for those, but they are inflated a lot, and they don't have that much higher to go, right? You take a look at a lot of these max price of 12K. They're already pretty inflated from where they were. Again, I think with the lightning rounds that are going on right now, the 8410s that were out yesterday, and that stuff in the store, it's probably gonna be one of the last days for lightning rounds, right? The promo team of players, these guys go out of packs tomorrow ea probably won't run lightning rounds when nothing else is in packs unless they put something else in wouldn't put it past them but not expecting that for sure there's no leaks about a best of or anything like that i'm expecting that yesterday was the last day of lightning rounds which means it's probably one of your last opportunities to pick up 83s fours fives and maybe a couple 86s maybe a couple 87s i mean 87s went up yesterday as well i mean all of these cards were about 15k guys this sbc had so much hype yesterday take a look at neuer from 14 all the way to 16 17 000 coins which is near max price for some of those cards as well i think some of the 87s do have a max price of 17 to 18k and they were almost up there yesterday it was crazy now on the high tier like we're talking 88 and above rated fodder it is still very low 90s at 50 91s at 71k is pretty cheap if you want to stock a couple in the transfer list or in the club you could i think those maybe go a little bit lower as we get into um team of the year but uh probably not too much lower because yes there's going to be a lot of supply but there's also going to be so much demand for people to go and do sbcs we'll be watching the high rated fodder market closely it might rise a little bit during the week again we still have a lot of icon sbcs that are out that's more of a slightly riskier trade if you're looking to make maybe a little bit more profit after tax and you want to maybe say i'm going to buy 90s for like 48 or 9k on bid and try to sell them at 57 and hope they go there during the week you could do that um but the safer play is definitely i think 85s like 85s feel like to me there's a big gap between 85s and 86s and 85s also feel like kind of the right range they they went up a lot last year is probably in my mind as well like these cards exploded last year when ea was dropping uh those packs like the 83 plus midfielder attacker the 85 plus um a couple years ago they went up as well so I think I like stocking those. I just stocked some 85s in my club at 5,000 coins on bid. Last call to kind of stock for those. Uh, but yeah, 86s and 7s went up a ton yesterday because of the requirement for the hero pick. That's where all the hype was, the hero pick. Now, on the flip side, there was no inform uh, requirement in that. So you've got informs that have gone from about 33,000 coins down to 30 k flat and i mean yeah that's a little bit low i still believe that ea is going to require an inform sometime later on this week i just don't know how great the spc is going to be but man if that spc yesterday would have required an inform the rating would have been lower but team of the weeks would have mooned but they didn't because ea just went with the higher rated squad instead now on the market there was a little bit of panic and i'm trying to flip a schneider right now that i bought for the low 1.2 mil range i did not pack this if you came in the stream yesterday i was just trying this card out um to try them out uh, because I got them at a decent price. Some of those cards were moving, of course, since they were getting packed. It brought hype to the UCL heroes, and those might be decent cards to watch with for trading purposes for quick flips today. Like yesterday, I think it was because of the uh, SBC that came out for Welbeck as well. Dudek exploded after content. Like he was 42K, and I sold him at 49,000 coins. And even right now, he's like 44, and it looks like that's an undercut because the fourth or fifth cheapest card shows us 48,000 coins. So maybe some of the price, um, like this card went down a ton in price because of the Yoris SBC, right? And that's still available, but maybe the fact that Welbeck came out yesterday and this is a 40,000 coin goalie um, that is out of packs and with the uh, hero pick that came out drawing some hype to those cards, that might be why he has gone up a little bit. So watch these cards. They might be decent to trade with. Uh, but the market in general, as we didn't get any Evo content, it was all the SBC content yesterday. You can tell that I've got a lot of coins invested. It's mostly in like quick flips, right? Like the Schneider. I got a Deli Ali on a snipe for 900. We're going to talk about the Pro Live cards here in a minute. I traded with a couple of Rafinhas yesterday. I'm, I'm struggling to get sales on some of these cards that are middle to high tier. The Schneider, the Rafinha. I bought cards that were a little bit more expensive. I bought a Varane team of the week, dropped down a ton. Like he went back to 340 and I was the cheapest on the market at 330. It didn't sell. So some of these cards, it is, I'm kind of getting the sense that the market's starting to, there's not a lot of demand. Last week, there was still a decent amount of demand for trades and for flips. And I still think on the lower tier, like less than 100K there is. Um, but it just seems like stuff that's above that isn't selling too well unless you time it right. Um, just because now we are officially in that team of the week 
week or team of the year week and we are getting very very close now let's talk about that a little bit more let's talk about team of the year guys because um today the voting right today the voting is over and it finishes and it's actually probably about the time this video goes live a little bit after that is when the voting finishes which is 12 a.m on the 15th of january pacific time so it's like what 8 a.m uk time so maybe a little bit after this video goes live but and ea says as ea says here they say the final team leader selection will be determined by a combination of ea and community votes i'm sure they've been watching the votes this entire time but they're going to compile them up start getting all the graphics and the assets made that they need to get made put start putting the cards together with the stats and the everything that they need to do all the promotional material there's probably a lot of work that goes in behind it who knows uh, but they're probably making the cards in the next day or two and then I would imagine, I think this is how it was last year. I think we had a leak of who was going to be in team of the year, like an actual from Foot Sheriff, a legit leak on, I think it was the day after the voting or two days after. There's been a lot of leaks recently, and we kind of talked about it in yesterday's video. There's been a lot of leaks about players in packs, women's, men's team of the years, the part, the fact that both men's and women's team of the years would be in packs at the same time. I think that was expected, right? Again, I'm not going to name names, but there are some very fraudulent, like, again, just people that are looking for clicks on the internet, right? Without the voting being done, I don't think that the entire team of the year or even many of the team of the year cards have been decided by EA for reals. Like I was saying, a couple of them, like Jude, Puteas, right? VVD, Mbappe, Holland, you expect them to be in, but... Those are kind of the names that are being leaked as well, which are kind of like the obvious ones. So I would steer clear of believing like almost anything that that guy says. If you know who I'm talking about, a couple of the guys on Twitter. I saw a lot of banter on Twitter yesterday too of people posting like leaks and saying like, uh, you know, some random person was in team of the year and then they would say, this is just a prediction, you know, just kind of having fun with the memes. So enjoy the fun with that, but don't take the leaks too serious until it's the people's leaks that we look at all the time, like Foot Sheriff and stuff like that. Now... We've had a lot of icon leaks, and I haven't looked at many of those yet. I've been saving it for this week because I think we've got all the icons leaked now, and I want to go over those with you guys. Speaking on the content and the context of leaks, we've looked at R9, right? We have 13 icons, Team of the Year icons, that have been leaked so far. Some of them might be SBCs. Um, I doubt we get an objective, but most of them will be in packs. R9 is the big one, right? He's the pack seller. He's a huge big name player. If you may have seen the other videos, we looked at Ribery. He's getting a team of the year icon. Vieira is getting a team of the year icon. Uh, and of course, the double play style plus was a big part of these icons. Mia Ham is getting an icon as well. Icon card for team of the year. Looks absolutely insane. Now, the, the newer leaks are Javi. And some people are saying that Javi might be our SBC. That could be a really nice SBC. If you remember last year, we had Javi Alonso and Hugo Sanchez as Team of the Year Icon SBCs. I expect to get at least one or two of those this year as well. Um, that's so many Icon SBCs that we've had recently. And to add more on top of that seems crazy, but it's probably going to happen. Uh, Javi is leaked. Rio Ferdinand is leaked. Again, these are all predicted stats. I hope that Rio Ferdinand has a bigger boost than this one. Make him 90 or 91 rated for sure. That's going to be a really, really good card for sure. Hopefully they boost up that passing and dribbling just to make him a little bit more agile. But you know he's going to be a beast. VVD-esque, maybe. So Rio's a big one, and Mateus is leaked as well to come as a team of the year icon. Now, moving on with a couple more leaks. We've got George Best. What a sick dynamic, right? Again, two play style pluses, the question marks there, kind of denoting that there will probably be two play styles on all of these cards that get team of the year icon versions. Philip Lam is another card that is getting a... Um, team of the year icon. I'm kind of excited for that one. He might be a little bit cheaper depending on the boost though. He could be used again like his base icon card can play what like center defensive mid left back right back. He can play a lot of different places. That could be a really cracked card. Those stats don't look good, but they can juice him up a little bit more than that. And then also Petr Cech. Petr Cech team of the year icon. Um, probably not a striker check, but that's, you know, kind of what we think of back at the end of last year to, uh, shapeshifters at the end of, uh, FC or FIFA 23. So that's a leak there. And then a couple more Mateus again. And then Sawa. Sawa is huge. Um, this is leaked by ASY foot trader and foot scoreboard together. So foot scoreboard is really reliable. Whenever he's endorsed in something, I'm going to say that it's probably legit. And yeah, that's going to be a really cracked card. Sawa's base item is legit in game if you haven't tried her out uh so i would expect that one's going to be even more insane and probably really expensive these are all the team of the icons that we had last year if you guys remember i think we just had two sbcs again Javi alonso and hugo sanchez 
and the lowest rated one was 91 rated, right? It was the Ashley Cole. We had a 91 rated Vidic as well. And then most of them are 92, 93, and 94 rated. So when you take a look at some of the leaks this year, uh, like Mateus, he's going to be high rated. But like Rio Ferdinand, he's probably not going to be 89, right? He's probably going to be a 91 to maybe even 93. Um, who is somebody else that we looked at that was low rated? Ribery, he's going to get juiced up even higher. Vieira, going to get juiced up even higher. So don't let the predicted stats fool you fool you these cards are going to be absolutely nuts now the other thing and i mentioned it in the intro that may be taking part on the game today as well there was already a little bit of like a voting screen right right in here on the news tab it said you know scan this qr code to vote on your team of the year blah 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 i think there's a slight chance guys that ea actually drop a loading screen today i know it's like nate a monday loading screen for real i think there's a slight chance of it just because they want to build the hyper team of the year i think the team of the year loading screen last year may have come out on a tuesday they try to put the card design in the loading screen they hype it up they get us excited they're probably going to somehow promo the men's and the women's uh team of the year and then maybe the next day try to show some graphics for like you know if it's in a if the attacker team of the year is coming to packs first maybe they'll show like barcelona and like try to show you like who's going to come into packs for team of the year or i don't know who's going to be in team of the year for the attackers for the women's side um my example of barcelona was for puteas but that's really a midfielder card anyways so i think they'll might they might do that whole slow reveal with the loading screen that could start today or tomorrow and that's really what i'm looking for for the market to kind of start moving again because like i said it just feels a little bit um it feels a little bit quiet. Let's talk market for a second. Uh, as I was mentioning, I picked up some cards yesterday that were definitely being panic sold. I don't think it was because of the content that was coming yesterday, really. Like, the leaks didn't look that insane. Um, for the hero pick, right? Hero picks are always pretty expensive and stuff like that. But, like, this Rafinha card was 340,000 coins. Dropped all the way down to 300 k He kind of went back up, and now he's back down again. But I'm looking around some of the rest of the market. I'm looking at Renato Sanchez at 370,000 coins. Look at his graph. From 400 k zoom, all the way down to 370, where he is now. A little bit of a bounce back, but still low. This, to me, is is again an early sign of like all right now we're getting towards another bit of a drop on the market where people are looking to sell cards again Goretzka hit 250 260 yesterday and some moments of rarity and now is 210 like that's a big drop off for him but that's a card and a lot of these cards the way I'm looking at them now is I don't know if I want to be involved in investing or trading with any of those because of where we are getting and how close we are getting to team of the year look at Firmino he was 390 yesterday and now he's 330 that's a 314 undercut there but 370,000 coins he must have been 390 on Saturday still yeah 383 390 on Saturday dropped all the way to 320 and it's, it's not rebounding that's the part to me that makes me like okay we're getting to maybe some more market drops I wouldn't call this panic I would just kind of say that this is like this is like the slide right we're sliding down into the team of the year lows in that last or not even the last but like the next kind of week and the next kind of wave of the selling of people saying like all right it's time for me to get out of some of these cards because team of the year is literally right around the corner so i think some of that could continue today as well i'm not expecting a big day of content which probably will mean the market could move a little bit right we still have foot champs foot champs rewards are not today because they're extended for the entire rest of this season and game the objective season which i think is like a week and a half or so longer um it's extended for this weekend league that's finishing up and the next weekend league as well, which is super nice. The first weekend league of team of the year will have an extended weekend league. Um, so yeah, there's extra demand still for the market today, but Mondays are really quiet days for the market. So make sure if you're trading, try to stick to the low tier stuff. I know a lot of people like I was doing last week are looking at the team of cards in packs for maybe a little bit of investment today is I'm not expecting any more lightning rounds. Um, these cards are very rare because like nobody is opening packs. So there could be some good movements here. Last week we had the cup on Monday, which made these cards go bananas as well. I think it was Monday where these cards went up a ton. I would not expect that same sort of thing because the cup's going away today and I don't think there's a new one that is coming out. But try to focus on, if you're trading, focus on bids, right? I would look at out of pack special cards. Um, like I was doing this earlier, you saw it on my transfer list. Uh, or transfer targets. I was looking at Hugo Sanchez winter wild cards. Like this bid price started at 334 for him. I was like, you know what? If I can 
get this card on a really low bid it's a rare card that maybe not as many people are watching i might be able to sell it on a fluctuation i would try to get on bids like that or just lazy list on the low tier right like the teles that i was mentioning in yesterday's video i sold two teles for 25 and 26,000 coins yesterday and his he never went above 20,000 coins i just got lazy sales because they had good chemistry styles on them this is a 15,000 coin card which is crazy the next time there's a Ronaldo special card, this guy's going to go crazy in price. But he dropped off from 20,000 coins down to 15K. And that's a card that was in the mini release as well. So he's a little bit more rare than others. So watch that Teles card again today. Watch Gunter. I hear a lot of people talking about him. Rudiger for 300K seems kind of cheap. Coman has held his price really well, which makes me think he's a little overpriced still, but also has a lot of hype. So keep an eye on the versus cards today. I'm not saying they're going to go up, but this is probably about the last supply that they got. I'm not expecting too much more tradable supply happening today. So they might be a place in the market that moves a little bit today. Now, let's talk about content today. Monday's slower days, especially with the pro events going on on Mondays recently, guys. I think maybe EA tries to not make as much content go on in the game on Mondays. Maybe it's because of the pro events. Maybe there's no correlation there whatsoever. But uh, there was a leak yesterday that said that we were either getting the Icon Evo, right? We've been talking about it now for a couple of days since the leaks made prices go everywhere. Either it's coming, uh, well, yesterday or today. And well, it didn't come yesterday. So we're looking at today, potentially based off of this leak for the Icon Upgrade Evo, which actually is crazy timing because yesterday in my um, Icon Player pick that I finished and talked about in last night's video, I opened it on stream. And I packed Zola. Zola was in the pick. So it was Zola or Rivaldo. And I was like, you know what? This card in that Icon Evo would potentially look cracked. So I picked Zola. And it looks like I'm going to have to make 200,000 more coins because I'm going to be spending 200k more if that Zola, um, you know, fits the Evo, which it's supposed to. So watch out for this today. I don't think this Evo is hype, guys. Like, I will maybe do the Zola because it actually will probably be a bit of a flex to have done this Icon Evo because people are like, wow, you spent 200k on Evo. That's kind of a flex, right? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Uh, I don't know if that's going to impact the market a lot today, but it is 200k that people will be spending or 1,000 FC points, which wouldn't impact the market as much. But that could cause a little bit of coin drain. But again, that Evo doesn't look that hype, so I'm not expecting it to move too many things. And we got to get upgrade SBCs today, man. We need a player pick. I think EA knows that we need a player pick as well. I've been doing these winter wildcard crafting upgrades, and while it is nice to get the extra rewards, like I, I just don't like turning in 11 gold non-rares to get three rare golds back and i get some good packs but i'm ready for the 80 plus player pick to come back and honestly ea we would love you if you release that because that would allow us to craft 83 plus team of the weeks faster that would allow us to craft 83 times 10 which is probably something they don't want us to do really easily right they want us to have to buy that fodder so i could see them releasing the 81 plus double today or some sort of player pick but some sort of upgrade pack and then also actually i could counter contradict myself there too and say this promo team is going out of packs in a day, so why would they release a, an upgrade pack? We might not get an upgrade pack today. Just thought about that as well, but Mondays are usually upgrade day, so if we're going to get one, today's the chance that we could get one. I hope they give us one. Come on, EA, be nice to us, right? Give us a player pick. Let the players grind um, for our upgrade packs and for stocking our clubs. Now, also, I'm going to say this too. I don't know if there's going to be one dropping today, but during this week, in my opinion, there will be more like gamble packs. I know in yesterday's video, I mentioned they could drop an icon upgrade SBC this week as well. They still could. I don't know if it would be today. I don't know if it'd be later on in the week. I think they're going to want to give us multiple opportunities to continue to drain our coins before team of the year comes out. So whether it's in the form of like an icon gamble pack or a year in review or an 85 plus times two, 86 plus times two SBC for a pack like that, like I can see more of that stuff coming later on this week as well. So that's another reason to get stocked up on the fodder. I'm not expecting a lot of content today, but I think that it might be pack related if we do get some more as well. Now, last thing, you've seen me looking at some of these cards. I mentioned I bought a couple and I have a couple here on my watch list. It is another day of the FC Pro Live cards. Guys, based on how they moved last week, you probably want to sell in the hype. Now, Deli Ali is not one that is playing today, right? I bought him because links uh, to the brand new Welbeck, the people might be trying him out and using him. But Cards that are playing today in Group B. Group B. Oh, no. Where'd my thing go? Group B. I had a, a picture pulled up of all the cards that are in it. I'll just tell you. It is. William is playing today. You've got uh, Tovan that is playing today. He's actually down a little bit. His pro is happy. 
Uh, his name is Happy. And it, right now, Tovan is sitting on uh, six points, I believe. He got two upgrades. Or I don't know if he's on six points or eight points, but he got two upgrades. He's pretty close to getting up another plus one. And if his pro qualifies, this Tovan could be going up to a 90. Now, that's high stakes. High reward, also incredible opportunities for a big time price drop off, right? Nobody obviously needs to be re reminded of what happened to Sadio Mane last week, going from what, 500,000 coins, 400K, all the way down to 200,000 coins, now back up a little bit. But this Tovan card could legit be 30,000 coins later tonight, 40K, probably 30K, um, if his pro does not win any games, if he does not get out, right? These players have to get out of the uh, qualifying rounds and get to the tournament in order for the cards to continue to stay alive for the big end game tournament. So there's not that many upgrades at stake today, uh, which is why I would probably sell on the hype, but it's Tovan, it's Willian, um, it is uh, Karamoa. I think there might be one, maybe Locatelli as well. I think those are the cards that are playing today. It's Group B. We have a command in the Twitch chat. If you go to the Twitch chat and type in exclamation mark Group B, which is what I should be doing, but I forgot to do that to double check it. That's where you can see all the players that are playing today selling the hype band. I mean, Williams' card looks insane, but this card is, again, probably due for a price drop. I mean, gosh, that's crazy, though. If he gets another upgrade and goes 90 shooting and 90 passing, okay, I understand. The card's rare and super expensive, but just be careful with those today because last week they did cost some people some coins because there's more room to drop than there is to rise on those, in my opinion. Last thing. EA, can we get an accurate one of these today? All right, an accurate one, not the wrong car design. And then some of the players, SBC is not included in here. I hope they give us one of these this week in Ultimate Teams today. As always, um, you can check their website too. If you just type in Ultimate Team Hub into Google, it'll be the first um, link that shows up, I believe. And it'll take you to this website here. It'll show you the pr current promo. And then it'll show you like what's upcoming. They haven't even updated the website. They put this out on Instagram. And that's different than uh, what they have here. So anyways, guys, that's the video for today. I hope we get upgrade packs. I'm going to keep grinding the 83 times 10s. I'm saving one per day, and I'm opening one per day. And we got a couple more packs trickling in. Hopefully every day you watch the videos, you see that, that number above the top there. 86 times 2 from the daily play objective is in. We got two 83 10s and the 84 times 10, and I'm going to carefully not open one of those. We're going to finish Weekend League today uh, on stream. And other than that, we're going to be crafting the 8310s. It's probably going to be a slow day today. Just putting that out there. But hopefully EA give us something to spice it up and at least get us a little bit excited. Maybe the moves happen on the market. We'll see. If you enjoyed today's video, though, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate for the Count. Catch you guys in the video tomorrow. Peace.